everybody welcome to mega stitches my name is milka and i am so glad to be here today and i hope that you guys are having a wonderful sunday today is october Whew, like always is some sort of date around two o'clock <laughs> well you know how it is people sometimes we think is we're all prepared and then we're not prepared but today or this week has been like a chill week um very relaxing and kind of focusing on some pieces and um i don't have any haul this week so um i'm not gonna be showing any haul i'm gonna show you guys my stitching progress and um some other stuff that you guys don't know that i'm going to start so it's gonna be interesting i kind of wanted to talk to you a little bit before i start showing you my progress uh about what happened this week um this week i've been having a very strange uh weather i don't know what's going on like two days ago was like 76 degrees and then the next day was like 43 and today it's like 46 so it's for me it's cold i feel this cold <laughs> so for some people it's not that cold it's nice weather but no for me it's super cold so i'm always like long sleeve and stuff like in in the house and i don't i kind of don't want to go outside i really don't <laughs> but anyways i wanted to let you guys know a little bit of uh, a couple things and I have it on my tablet, so I'm gonna kinda look down and up. So, just letting you guys know. Um, so, after the Black Needle Society, um, after they launched their reps and their VIP uh, people, um, it was just so happy. I was so happy because I just couldn't find um, I couldn't see like a lot of people that I didn't know. Um, I found new floss tubers. I found just, I don't know, this week has been like interesting. I've just been finding a lot of new people that are in the cross stitch community and it's been nice. Um, yeah, um, one of them was the Steel City Stitchers and I actually went and looked at her videos. Well, at them, their videos, they're like four girls. Um, and they were talking about a pattern that they were stitching about F cancer <laughs> because of the all the cancers, right? But October is the breast cancer awareness uh, month. And I've been wearing all my t-shirts. Like I have like three of breast cancer awareness and i've been wearing them um not in flossing which which i thought about it today but then i was like oof, i need to just you know i need to do laundry so <laughs> it was not clean anyways i did like that pattern i am planning i don't know when this is gonna come but i'm planning on doing my journal stitching journal and all those smalls can go in that journal i just I don't know sometimes sometimes people feel like too like everything needs to be perfect but we're not perfect and i kind of got to remind that to me <laughs> you're not perfect you you know whatever comes out of this you just gotta you know deal with it or go with it right so i kind of want to find a perfect journal anyways um let's keep going let's see what else i have here i have been avoiding the alf forest embroidery website they have been just putting patterns out there and patterns and patterns and i'm like oh my god this is so cute oh my god this is that this is so i <laughs> if you guys haven't checked it out checked that uh page or that designer i you should it's they're they're just amazing they have nice nice patterns um they have a christmas one that i've been I um looking at it like for a while and I, I really really uh, don't want to buy it because I already have a lot so you know how it is. <laughs> let's see what else um 
Oh, I found someone in Instagram. It's called the Twin Peak Primitive. And like a couple days ago, they were giving away a Christmas pattern. And I was fortunate enough to actually, you know, say, hey, me, please, I want it. <laughs> and they sent it to me through my email. Um, so I'm planning on stitching that. I hope it's not, I don't think it's that, that big, but yeah. Um, it was a 24 hours, um, like the design was going to be up for 24 hours to give away, but not anymore. So I'm sorry, <laughs> but I hope that you were able to, to, to actually download it. Also, I was watching the Sunshine Stitchers and, uh, EJ, Garen, and Sheila. Oh, Sheila. There we go. <laughs> Sorry if I mispronounced. Um, but yeah, they're from the Sunshine Stitchers. And they were showing patterns. They were so amazing. Oh my goodness. There was these patterns that used almost all the colors of, of DMC. Like, wow. <laughs> I mean, I get, like, I don't know. I will say, like, aggravated when I see, um... A pattern that has more than 250 colors imagine 400 colors 399 or stuff like that but they're amazing but that was incredible to see i really liked it that was amazing i also saw uh the interview with cocahoma stitchery with um sambria stitches and um it was so funny to see and her little doggy and all her experiences and you know just a lot of stuff that she said kind of reminded me like my mom because my mom was the same way <laughs> um but yeah if you haven't seen the interview just go to sambria sambria stitches and go look it up I will be linking all these floss tubers that I'm actually mentioning below in the Dropbox, right? Um, another floss tuber that I saw, and she's uh, she's new. She has like three floss tubers. She's uh, new too, like me. And her floss tube is Honey Bee Stitcher, and. I really wanted to mention her. She has great videos, um, great stitching. She's stitching a bee and it's a full coverage bee and it's very nice. So I wanted to give her my condolences and send some love and some, I hope that her heart feels some peace. Um, she had a, a loss of family member. So um, we're, we're all here together and Sometimes we're all like, oh, happy and all that stuff. But when this, when these type of stuff happen, we, we all need to be united. And um, even though we're far away, at least virtually, we can send some condolences and condolences and some love um, and peace to her heart. Um, and then the last floss tuber that I saw, and she's really, really brand new. She... She literally uploaded her video on Friday and she's also a Virtual Stitches member. Her floss tuber, it is Snark and Spark. So go check her out. Um, you can see, you know, go follow her and go give her a little bit of support, which is always nice, right? Okay, so let's let's show you guys my stitching right um this week i've been stitching pretty ladies pretty ladies which you know we have Elias. <laughs> so the first one that i'm going to show you it is C cathedral woods goddess by nora corbett and this is she she's amazing 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 so I, I think I did more than 200 stitches on this one, but okay, this is the fabric. Look at this people, beautiful. 
I, I actually dyed, hand dyed this fabric myself. Um, if I'm not mistaken, like with a dark brown and it has some very subtle model, but it's, it's just perfect for this pattern. And this is my stitching. Um, right here is in the bottom of her dress. So I started about right here. And that's Cathedral Wood Goddess by, um, not a corpet, but it's a Mirabilia. Okay, then the second one is Miss Dancing Flower. Awesome. She looks like Asian. Um, she's very pretty. I really like her flowers all over, like whatever she's uh, holding. It's very pretty. And I decided, oh, sorry, that I forgot. This fabric that I that I used for uh, Cathedral Wood Goddess was a 28 count swigard guard and it's an even weave. And I just bought it at Hobby Lobby and I dyed it myself. And when I dye it, it shrank to like 34. So yeah, 34 count. So I'm kind of scared about how I'm going to add the beads. Cause I know a lot of people say that just adding the beads on 32 count can be a little bit tricky. So let's see. All right, back to Miss Dancing Flower here. So for her, this is my progress this week. There we go. This fabric is amazing. It is opalescent. It's 32 count opalescent and it's a linen. Um, I believe the name is a Cooper or Copper color. Um, I don't know the dyer or I don't know the brand or anything, but look at this. This is beautiful yeah so i am really looking forward for this miravillas to be done they're gonna be they're gonna be looking so beautiful and then i started doing a nordic corbett which is a smaller design but this is this black swallowtail she is beautiful amazing <laughs> I really like her. She's so elegant. And this is, I couldn't put it down. I actually uh, did a stitch with me with this pattern. Um, you can look it up, it's my last video. It was a stitch with me uh, through Twitch. If you don't follow me on Twitch, follow me so you can you know, stitch with me when I'm live and you can be notified when I'm going to be live because I just do it randomly. I don't have a date or a schedule yet because my schedule at work, is it varies so much. So this is my progress, yay. I couldn't put this down. <laughs> um, so yeah, I did the bottom of her dress. I started right here, you notice? Right here and this is a beautiful fabric that I got on my LNS and I don't know the dyer it's a 32 count linen so yeah it's a beautiful green I really like it she's gonna be beautiful and very elegant all right then I started a new hay or a new heaven and earth designs and this is called mini mini fall mini October flame <laughs> these are the colors I did my own fall scores if um usually this is how I do them um and this is a mini one so I barely use like a little, just a little bit of the skein so I don't like to grab a full skein for minis and this is my progress yay 
this is my progress it has so many beautiful colors that i love those pinks fuchsia yeah i do love it and this um needle minder is from vicky from stitch and button oh lord <laughs> okay um i'm a mess here but yeah well it is from stitching button and it says i cross uh i cross it so i don't kill people <laughs> it's funny and then this one i got at amazon and it says my wand shows me and this pattern i'm gonna insert a picture this pattern has actually a wand and wait does it have a wand i don't know <laughs> anyways the grime guard um i did it myself and yeah i'm parking obviously because you guys can tell I'm on my own version of parking <laughs> it's funny and then ta -da! <laughs> yay <laughs> oh my goodness guys i have had trouble with this one just because I made a, a huge mistake and I had to frog and I'm gonna like put a picture I had to frog the whole top border like all this I had to frog and the size it was not um <laughs> it was just not even it was not matching with the bottom one but yeah I was able to fill out fill out all the motifs in the inside there's some details that i have not done and it's because i'm going to go over with another with another color i'm not sure if i'm going to do it either like silver or gold not sure yet but yeah and sh and stitching book club stitch um released the last part of the cell this is Frankenstein, Frankenstein cell. And she released the inner border. And after I fixed my mistake yesterday, I started stitching the inner border. And I only have this little corner. So after this video, I'll be stitching more of the border so I can complete it by Halloween. Because I really want to complete it by Halloween. So yeah. One last look. This fabric was done by me and it's also a uh, dye by me. And it was also in four. This is in 14 count Ada. And I remember I did this with the ice method. All right. Well, that's it for all my stitchy updates. I don't have anything else that I have stitched in this week. Um, but I have to say. I got a new hobby that I want to learn. I can't say that I have a new hobby. I mean, <laughs> not yet. But um, between Sakia from Lady Wang's Designs, Vicky from Stitching Button, um, Sarah from Stitching Kingdom, our Stitching Kingdom, um, they all have been. I have been talking to them about knitting and i've never i've never ha have done knitting before so i'm kind of excited and all of them they recommended to me uh they recommend me off the grid needle arts and off the grid needle arts they have a in a playlist where it's called stitch uh learn how to knit no it says let's teach girl how to knit and there's like 25 videos i'm in the third video i literally just started watching them like friday when i was waiting for a patient and i i don't have much i got some cheap yarn nothing very expensive Ooh, my needle just fall, fell out. well <laughs> i bought this needle it's a number seven and it's called circular needle and I believe this is a Clover brand. Um, this brand, Clover. This is another one, but um, this is a small one. And 
I was just starting to do my stitches, my knit, knitting stitches, and it felt okay. Hold on, I'm trying to put it back in the needle, but there you go. This is what I got done. I'm so proud of myself. Never done this before, and this is the yarn that I'm using. It's called Sugar and Cream. Um, someone told me that there's better yarn to work with as a, you know, as when you're starting, but this is what I got and I'm going to just practice with this. So this is what I'm going to be practicing when I get tired or my hands get tired to, uh, about when I'm stitching. Yeah. So hopefully... I can learn how to do that. And the whole reason behind it, it was because I want to learn how to make socks. They look so cute. And I just, I just, I was so impressed when I was watching um, Lady Wind Designs. Um, I believe Noah Stitches is also um, maybe stitching a sock, um, knitting a sock. Um, so yeah, I really want to do a pair and maybe a shawl which i bought a pattern and i really like i said i didn't i didn't have haul yeah i got this pattern and this is a, a shawl and this is how it's going to look and you can either wrap it around you use it like this i thought it was very cute and nice so this is gonna happen whenever i'm an expert <laughs> i'm not gonna do this before i learn like the basics i'm definitely gonna start with a dishcloth and then a hat and then maybe the socks or the shawl i'm not sure so yeah this is what have been going this week i hope you guys keep safe um i'm sending you lots of love lots of good vibes and good energies and i hope you have a great rest of your uh, weekend bye bye